Hello there, it's Hedl with the Multi-Empo Report, where we're talking about three things related to tropical cyclones today. We're going to talk about this area first, because it's the one I have the least information on. I've never been able to find a meteorological website for Madagascar, and apparently the link, either Mozambique's thing is currently down, or they're no longer using it. So we'll make a guess. Based on the Mito Frost path, they don't have this thing rising above tropical depression strength. Let's see if we can get it on the satellite. So I'm going to make a guess that probably rains, extra rains, maybe some light winds and stuff, maybe a little bit of rough seas and stuff. That would tend to be the types of land hazards you would see with that. But again, no official data on that. So Meteo France is actually tracking this as a tropical depression or technically, what are they calling it? A tropical disturbance, whereas JTWC just at the moment has it as a high chance of tropical cyclone formation. So let's move on over to Australia, where we've been tracking this area of interest for quite a number of days. I believe this is the first day where it's up to a high. And of course, now Bureau of Meteorology is tracking it currently as a tropical low, and they have a cyclone watch in effect for this area. This storm is expected to reach tropical storm slash, I believe it might be technically what a category one cyclone based on this strength scale and whatnot before making landfall and the land hazards expected with this one of course heavy rain there could be some storm surge related with this so some potential flooding with this storm expected so that is this thing and then finally we'll talk about this area over here let's switch to map view there we go so low chance of tropical cyclone formation on this one per the jtwc both the GFS, let's start it over. Let's, so start, watch this area. So the GFS makes this a little bit more favorable where it might be officially a tropical cyclone before landfall. Both the GFS and the ECMWF do show it moving towards here, but the GFS shows it with probably a little bit more strength, whereas like the ECMWF, it basically dissipates over land, whereas with the GFS, it looks like it still holds together after crashing into the Philippines. So, but that's several days out at this point but the right now is that is a low chance of tropical cyclone formation so that is what is happening in the land of tropical cyclones now we move on to the land of u.s severe thunderstorm weather where there is a mesoscale discussion in effect it's for the ice storm it has nothing to do with severe thunderstorms but yes the fun sleet precipitation type freezing rain freezing rain sleet all sorts of ice how exciting Power outages, those are always fun. Yeah, so that is what is happening in the US right now. So, SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wikiwix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. And Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. And that is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.